Welcome back to Thief 3. Hello there, guard. How are you doing this fine night? Anyone looking? No. Oh. Okay, he just turned back. That's a bit creepy. I'm not doing anything. I'm just having a little dance here. Yeah. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Wait, wait right here. Okay, never mind. I didn't realize he went that far away. I'm actually going to hide in a better place. Oh, shit. There's someone coming. Wait a minute. That's a civilian, so the civilian shouldn't care about me, right? Yeah, the civilian wouldn't care. But now I have to worry about him seeing the guard. Hmm... Okay, how about I forget both of them? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Alright, so I need to go there. And... Am I here or did I already go past the tavern? Um... Okay, I've already gone past the tavern. Yep. So, go over here, go up, go right, and then go down. <laughs> Hello there, clock tower. This can be a cruel part of town for someone like me. Hello. Don't even ask. Mm. Out now. It was lit before. Well, that was an interesting conversation. Hello. Don't even ask. He wasn't asking anything. He was just saying hi. What a dick. Uh, why are you going against the wall? Okay, that was weird. He actually might have seen me, but it probably doesn't matter, because again, he's a civilian. Okay, I believe that's where I need to go, right here? Really? That close? Wow. Yeah. Thief 3 definitely has been subdivided into much, much smaller levels. Like, in Thief 1 and 2, I could easily go... In, there. Right. in Thief 1 and 2, I could easily go, like, three hours in some cases, in one level. And in this case, I can't really go even five... Yeah, I can't even go five minutes. It's been like three minutes since I started. And I just had to make a level transition. That really sucks. Before, I was saying it's not that big of a deal, but... Now that I'm actually really moving pretty fast, uh, moving through these different locations, and having to travel pretty far, it's... It's pretty annoying. It's really kind of sad, actually. Alright. Stop recording. Stone market proper. Let's go! Yeah, because so much of what makes Thief Thief is the open-worldness. And it's missing some of that. Stupid city watch. Trying to confiscate my weapon. Like I can't get one again real easy, even if they do. Anyhow, ladies got... You ready? What? Right now? Yeah, you get the map, right? What else are we waiting for? I don't know. A little time to prepare, I guess. You don't just waltz into a Hamrite cathedral and run around willy-nilly. But that's the beauty of it. Element of surprise. Idiot. It's supposed to be the Hamrites that are surprised, not us. Well, I mean, everyone would be surprised. Isn't that even better? 
No, no, you and I, we shouldn't be surprised at all. We should be prepared, have a plan, know what we're going after and where it is, how many hammers be around, that sort of thing. Oh, yeah, I see your point. I guess. Are you sure you ain't just chicken? My last partner was chicken. Look, we just got the map. Let's study it, come up with a plan. No one's chicken. We know there's gold in there, but we also know there's really big guys in there with giant hammers. This... This is what I like to call a finesse job. Yeah, yeah, finesse. Sounds good. I vote we go in now. Surprise attack. I vote we don't. We need a plan. Finesse. Surprise. And shut up. All right, well, it looks like I have a little extra side mission I can do, or something like that. And it would appear that all of the female models in this game look like anorexic stick figures. Who the hell designed the models? It doesn't... I mean, why? The men look normal, the women look fucking weird. They look like stick puppets. Or stick figures, or something, but they don't look human. Me the map, then. I'll go alone. All right, now they're walking awkwardly around and muttering to themselves. All right, anyway, what's the note? Oh yeah, they have a map of the uh, church with them. All right. Let's get it. Only they weren't gets us both killed. I guarantee it. Oh my god, what is with the NPCs in this game talking every two seconds? Shut up! No one talks that much. Alright, they're very close together. Ooh. And I still haven't figured out how to pickpocket, because it seems like when I get close I just can't take anything they have for some reason. In fact, in the tutorial the game never the even mentioned pickpocketing, so maybe me, you can't. As will need it for the planning stage of the heist. Alright, yeah, given that the game didn't introduce pickpocketing in the tutorial, I'm thinking you just can't pickpocket? I think that was supposed to be humming, but it sounded more like grunting. Surprise them. They'll never know what hit them. Alright, come on, I'm just waiting for her to move. Preferably, preferably not towards me. Okay, there we go. Oh, damn it. Alright, I think I'm going to take the guy out first. Surprise. And this pillar is floating for some reason. Come on. I just don't want them to fall into the light so the other person will see it. All right, let me see if I can pickpocket. Nope. If they try serving me any of that skunk beer again, I'm gonna tear this place apart. I work hard for this money. Why should I throw it away on bad beer? All right, fuck it. Please don't see the body. <laughs> just, just laying crumpled over there. Poor sucker. Oh shit. Well, at least it's not me. I got a clapping. Watch out. Uh Hey. Uh, hello? Is that you, Smithy? Come chat a while so I don't fall asleep. What the hell just happened? What? Okay. And she's coming back, and now she's not worried. What? Best place to hide is in shadow. Better check it out. What the fuck did they do to the AI? 
I think they've downgraded the AI from the first two thieves. Look, she doesn't even care now. I'll find you, Taffer. I've got all night and nothing else to do. You say that, but you're probably going to give up in about Just two seconds. Like in the books, killer does what he came here to do, then leaves the scene. Area clue. And he gave up. Huh? Think I'm seeing things. Now, th <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm definitely turning it on hard difficulty. Next mission, if I remember, I think I keep forgetting. But this AI is terrible. Do you think he'd find it suspicious if I blew out the candle right in front of his face? He's dead. Kind of a handsome thing. Ugh. What a waste. You know what? I like to beat on people, especially sneaky people trying to pull one over on me. Wait, Just didn't the I? Kind of person I am. Wait, did I knock her out? What the hell? And what do you mean he's dead? Trying to sneak up I didn't kill anyone. Woman, are you? I'll show you how defenseless I am. Just come on out. I'm very confused right now. I thought I knocked her out, and I never killed anyone, so what does she mean he's dead? Alright, well, I've looted this place. I guess I'll knock her out again. And now she comes back, once again. So she's seen two separate dead bodies, and she's been knocked out herself, but she comes right back here and... Seems to behave as if nothing happened. Where are you going? Okay. Well, there's the map. Wait a minute. No, this is the woman. Well, who the hell was she? She looked exactly the same. I'm very, very confused. Alright, come here. Uh, hello? It's not you. Oh, there we go. Oh. There we go. New map acquired. There we go. Alright, might as well clean up these bodies. Don't want any more discoveries. Uh. It sounds like she just got impaled on that person's sword. That did not sound good. I hope she's okay. That sounded horrible. It's, it sounded like she just got impaled. Alright, time to take you out, whoever you are. Whoa! It just sounds like she got impaled too! What the hell's happening? Horrible, horrible noises are afoot. Alright. Wait. Is that a dead body? What in the hell happened here? I'm so confused in so many different ways. Why is there a dead body over there? I just came here. It, I didn't do it. Ah, whatever. Alright, so... There's the bloody handprints. Where am I looking? Alright, looking at the doors is east, so I'm here. So the bloody handprint is around the back? Yes. Okay, let's go around the back. And what am I doing? Alright, uh, Black Market Bertha. Let's go. Alright, I think I'm safe here. Yep. Garrett, I can't believe it's you in my store. Let me know if you need help finding anything. I'm Marla. Marla Madison. 
Used to be a thief myself. Maybe you heard of me, or... Mm, but, oh, you probably just want to shop. Someone told me your place is over in South Quarter, Garrett. Yeah, that's not too far from here. Maybe I can see it sometime, or... Oh, you're probably real busy and everything. Oh my god, she sounds like a rabid fangirl. Someone told me your place is over in South Quarter. Garrett. Fuck these NPCs. Okay. It's not too far from here. Shut up. Shut Maybe up. I can Noisemaker, broadhead. I'm just gonna talk over her. Fuck her. Oh, Ooh, moss. And you're probably real busy and everything. I'll take a couple because I have Thanks none right now. Shopping, Garrett. Uh huh. Come back soon. Iron practice lock. What does that do? Iron practice lock. You know what the hell? You, but Let's see what it does. You know anything about this quarantine? I'm scared it's the plague or something. Maybe worse. They say maybe it's zombies. Yeah, sure, whatever. I don't know whose bright idea it was to have the NPCs spout annoying shit every two seconds, not even giving you time to think. But whoever they are, they should be fired, because that is horrible. They don't even they don't even have lip syncing. Their lips don't even move. Alright, so I have no idea what that iron practice lock is. Is it in my inventory? Nope. So, what does it do? I mean, is it literally just a lock to practice on? Because if it is, then that's totally pointless. I get practice by picking real locks in the real world. Uh... Fuck. Touch me again and I'll clean your clock. What is going on? There are more women that look like stick figures. They don't even look human and they are they both have the same character model. The same character model as the two other women I just knocked out. What the fuck is happening? Is there some sort of a... Like a... I don't know, something that spawns forth clones? Is there some sort of a cloning operation going on? Maybe that's why they closed down the docks. Maybe some magic went awry. And there's just an infinite supply of those women spawning out of it. Alright, well I guess this is probably Black Market Bertha. Well, looky looky. You must be Garrett. Somehow, I expected somebody taller. Doesn't matter. I'm Black Market Bertha. Glad to meet you. Perry said to expect you. Said you'd have an opal for me. I'm sure we can do business. I got the best stone cutters in the city waiting to cut it up, as a matter of fact. <laughs> wow, the voice acting in this game is by and large... Well, not by and large, but in some cases, terrible. That was so bad. That sounded ridiculous. It sounded like someone trying to sound hard, you know, like, well, someone you'd expect to be involved in the black market, but it just sounded ridiculous. All right, sell everything before she starts talking again. This is some hot, mm, this is a damn <laughs> fine opal, one of a kind. I bet it came from one of those old noble houses, am I right? Never mind, it ain't my business how you came to have it. Ooh. <laughs> I almost forgot. Here, a gentleman left this letter for you. Don't you worry, I didn't read it. It ain't my business, is it? Alright, and the subtitles didn't even match what she said. Okay, bye. Nice talking with you and your weird sounding voice. I think you're trying to sound gravelly, but it's not very convincing. Garrett, we must speak with you. Tercy's Courtyard in Stone Market Plaza, Keeper Artemis. Ah, once again the Keepers want something to do with me. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure it's going to be complicated and dangerous, as always. Okay. Uh, 
where is it? Oh, there it is. Of course, pretty much as far away as it could be. Alright, so I've got to go back across. Now, can I go into St. Edgar's Church just for the loot? Like, I don't need to for a quest, but now I have a map for the place. So I guess I can just go in there for the hell of it. Really? Okay, and now there's two men with the exact same character model. What the fuck is going on? There is some sort of a malfunctioning cloning machine. Shit, that city watchman is looking and I cannot put out that light. Okay, there we go. Wow, there's a lot of city watch here. Alright, what am I looking at? I believe that's the passage to Old Quarter? Yeah. Yeah, that goes to Old Quarter. Hey, what's up? Turn around. And there's the dead body that I didn't kill. Oh, Moss Eric creates soft patches. Yep, I know how it works. That... Uh, where was I? The, um, here. Oh, for the hell of it, let me see what's in here. Ooh. Looks like it might be a bakery. Eh. If it is, then they're not very careful with their money because they just left a ruby sitting out on the countertop. Not very smart. Actually, I don't think this is a bakery. I thought this was bread up here, but it's actually just a bunch of sacks. I guess they could be sacks of bread. More likely, though, it's probably just someone's home. Ooh, there's someone in here. Alright, since there's someone in here, let me put this out before I open the door. Just in case. Shit, there's a light on the other side. Where am I coming out at? Oh. Alright, so this is just another entrance to the same house, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, there was no point in picking that. Upstairs it is. Someone's nearby. I hope that wasn't inside the house. Got a nice little ring here. Worth 25, not much, but I'll take it. Oh, here we go. Oh, 
Thursday. I think I got it all figured out. Cut up the big stone as planned and deliver the package to Milton and Craig. When they look inside, they'll see a bunch of gems and assume they're all there. Never guessing, I took some. And why not? Their plan doesn't work without a decent stone cutter. And they won't go to the city watch because they're the crooks who stole it in the first place. Friday. Deliver the package. Seemed to go well. Milton was a little tense, but I reckon that's not unusual for a hoodlum. Guess I pulled it off. Saturday. Couldn't sleep last night. Uh, what if they look more closely at their share and then come back for me? Well, I'll hide the gems I took until I'm sure I've fooled them. No one will look in uh, Tercy's courtyard, will they? I'll stash them at the base of that gargoyle statue around the back where they can't be easily seen. Ooh. Excellent. Alright, where's this lead? I'm somewhere a floor up, so it's gotta be some sort of a balcony or something. Oh, and I'm getting 12 FPS, that's wonderful. Clearly this game is too much for my four cores. Actually, I'm pretty sure this game only uses one core. Yeah, actually it, it does. Because one of the parts of the patch that I've installed is a multi-core fix. It has that problem that a lot of old games have where if you try and run it on a computer that has multiple cores, when the game was made to run on one core, it kind of fucks it up. So yeah, it only uses one core, which might be the problem, actually. Hmm. Alright, that leads to the pipes. But I can't really go anywhere from the pipes. Is there any way to get up there? Hmm. No, there's no way. And I'm gonna fall off. Great. Alright, so I need to go back across. Yep, let's do that. And go back to Tercy's courtyard. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Let's, um, let's go inside the church. I assume I can just walk up to it? Never mind. Alright, how do I enter? I guess through the back? Was there an entrance in the back? Hmm, not a bad looking fella. The look uh, on her thank face. You? Like she was gonna spit up just from standing next to me. There we go. Okay, you she can steal. So high and mighty. We's exactly the same. Except she's got No, I don't see any way in. Okay, that's probably something I do later. So I'm just gonna ignore that for now. Yeah, I don't know whose idea it was to design all the women to look like that. Bless you. I mean, it's just, it's comical. It does, no human looks like that. That's not what people look like. It looks absurd. And yet nothing about this art style suggests it's in any way cartoonish. So to have that is just, Terrible. I mean, it's just terrible art direction. Who the hell approved that? Alright. Leaves area and enter Stone Market Plaza. Yes. Cryptic notes. Secret meetings. Haven't you keepers outgrown this stuff yet? It was not our intention to be cryptic. What was your intention? Don't I have friends on the Keeper Council anymore? More than you know. Garrett, may I speak? Sure. Talk. The Keeper Council has agreed to allow you access to the prophecies as they are read by our interpreter, Keeper Kataka. Well, that's Keeper talk for something bad has happened and now we want your help. Right? But there is something they require of you first. Go on. Two objects. One with the Hammerites, the other with the Pagans. They are unusual. We wish to study them further. We need you to acquire them for us. You mean steal them? Are you sure these are the only hoops your Keeper friends need me to jump through before I'm allowed to hear the prophecies? It's true that through this you will have proven that you are trustworthy. None of this is 
My choice. I'll get you the trinkets. You just make sure your keeper buddies come through on their end of the bargain. I will. Garrett? Garrett? Okay, sorry about that. I think I forgot to start the recording again. Whoops. Yeah, I'm not used to starting and stopping recordings constantly. So... Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Anyway, that was... You only missed like two seconds of that video. That was me meeting with the Keepers in... What was it? Tercy's... Plaza or whatever... Uh, whatever it was called. A courtyard. Tercy's courtyard. So yeah, you just missed like two minutes of me actually getting there. Nothing important. Alright, Garrett. These are the objects that you must acquire. The chalice, a relic of the Hammerites. It is kept in St. Edgar's Church in Stone Market proper. Okay. So now I know what that map was about and the whole church and all that. The Jacknall's Paw, a possession of the pagans. They have constructed secret tunnels beneath the South Quarter Well. We believe the Paw to be there somewhere. Meet back in Tercy's Courtyard in two... Knights. I have faith in your abilities. Keeper Artemis. Okay. New restriction. Restriction? What? Oh, you're working with the keepers for now. Don't attack them or get caught doing anything that will cause them to attack you. Simple enough. Alright, well, I guess I'll do, um... I kind of want to do the church first, because I know where that is, but hold on. The, let's see where this other one is. South Quarter Well. South Quarter Well. Old Quarter. Stone Market. Okay, yeah, that's the well that I originally went to. Back right next to my home, I think. So yeah, let's do the church first, but before any of that, let's get the, uh... The stones. Somewhere. There we go. Holy shit, 200. 200. Okay. Well, I guess it doesn't hurt to, um, go around here a bit and see what's nearby. Eh, screw it. Never mind. I don't care enough. Let's just go back. And this time I won't forget to start the recording. I believe this is where I came from, right? Oh, hi. <coughs> there we go. That makes this easier. Oh, shit. Civilian. <laughs> Apparently you didn't notice anything. All right. There you go. Good day, civilian. How you doing? Okay, that goes where? Where am I? God damn it. I know I'm near where I need to be. Wait a minute. Have I gone back to, like, the beginning? Wait, I think I'm here. Right? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I got it. Wait a minute, can I go up there? Mm, no. Good day, sir. While I'm here, let me, uh, see what's in here.
Alright, we've got a downstairs and an upstairs. Let's go down first. Hey, the torch went out. How suspicious. Why don't you investigate? Oh shit. Parola. Help! He's on the stairs! Yeah, go! Ah. Okay, time to get out of here. Anyway, like I was doing. <laughs> I didn't think he'd come up. Okay, this should take me over to here. Stone market proper, yes please. I will start the, reco the recording back up. All right, let's go inside. Or not? St. Edgar's Church. Oh, okay. This is where the Hammerite fanatics keep the chalice, a so-called holy relic. It's what the keepers are asking me to steal, if I want to see their prophecies for myself. The chalice might not be worth much on the street, but every hammer church has a nice pile of wealth stashed away. No reason not to fill my pockets while I'm here. This particular temple holds the crypt of some long-ago Hammerite hero, Saint Edgar. Today was his holy day, so there's an all-night service. That might work in my favor if they're all sitting down praying, instead of looking for sinners to smite. Indeed. Chances are they'll have anything they think is holy locked up pretty tight. I'll have to make sure they don't do the same to me. I'm not interested in the Hammerite brand of justice. I'm guessing a Hammerite justice involves hammers to the face? To the everywhere? Alright, this time I'm not going to forget to change the difficulty because it is way too easy right now. It's just, it's silly. Alright, so I definitely don't want Expert. Uh, I'm not sure about the difficulty of the AI, but I don't want Expert simply because I have to collect 90% of all loot in the mission. And I don't care about loot that much. But 60% is totally reasonable. So, let's do that. Break in. Steal the Builder's Chalice. And then return to the entry point. Alright, I believe starting it's probably going to load it, so I'm going to stop recording. And of course the game crashed, because it played a movie and then was going to load. So, that's wonderful. Welcome back. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what the last thing you're going to see is, but I just had to load and do a bunch of crap because it crashed, and then I failed blackjacking a guard, and so I had to load, so I had to stop recording again, and then I found that my save game was actually from like five minutes ago, so I had to go through a bunch of other transitions. So anyway, I cut all that shit out. Now I'm at the church. I'm playing on hard difficulty setting. Let's go. And during all of that, I learned one thing, by the way. When I failed to blackjack the guard, I guess on hard, you need to be right behind them. Otherwise, it fails. 
There we go, I'll take that. Uh -uh. Okay, back on track, and it uh, reminded me that I need to quick save more. Alright, I don't need to take you out. Definitely do not need to. <clears throat> you know, the funny thing is, even on hard, at the moment, it seems like I don't need to do the sneak like this. So maybe even on hard, the only time you need to actually truly sneak and slow down is if you're walking over something extremely loud, like a, a metal grating or something, which so far I haven't really encountered. It's interesting, because it's a very big change from the first two thieves. But yeah, so far it looks like I basically don't need to worry about noise, for the most part. It's something you always had to worry about in the first two, but so far I don't think... Yeah, I don't think I've had to worry about noise. In this thief, since the tutorial mission right in the very beginning. Which is weird. You know, they give you the control to sneak, so obviously they expect you to use it. And obviously being quiet is a very important part of being a thief, but so far they haven't really incorporated it into the missions. You know what? I actually might take him out. Yeah, let me do this. Because this key is probably to that door, and over there is a guard watching over. Somewhere. I guess he's gone for now. Okay, screw it. Actually, now that he's gone, let me check over here. I guess he patrols back and forth. Comes out to the balcony occasionally. Yeah, I mean, they even give me moss arrows, so obviously they expect me to need to worry about noise at some point. The heck is this? Oh, there's a statue here. I couldn't see it because it was so dark. It's a it's an offering. All right, let's climb up here. <laughs> Although if I have the key, why climb? Eh, whatever. It's more fun. Mm, can I shoot through this? Yes, I can. Alright, I know I saw a guard out here on the balcony, so I'm thinking he might come back. Let's see. Um, where was I? Uh, ah, fuck it, whatever. Stupid maps. The condemned man spake upon his day of execution to the brethren. I am innocent. Do not cut off my head on this day. A wise brother tested the man, saying, If thou art innocent, thou canst thou canst set thy soul to rights by reciting the builder's holy prayer. Fearful, the condemned man spake, But I am too afraid to remember. I cannot. The wise brother replied, Fear never visits the innocent man. Fear never visits the innocent man. Even if thou art innocent of crime, thou art surely guilty of heresy. A righteous death shall cleanse thee of sin. So was the condemned man's head cleft from his body. And was innocence visited upon him that day. Really? And was innocence visited upon him that day? Okay. Yeah, the Hammerites are... Surprisingly, still crazy. I mean, not surprisingly. They're nuttier than a canister of planters mixed nuts. Or whatever that popular brand of peanuts or nuts is, are, I don't know, whatever. And the man did stand before the builder, and didst the builder ask, wilt thou undergo trial and hazard for me? Yep, even in Thief 3, the Hammerites are still crazy, and they still mutter random shit to themselves, making them seem even more crazy. 
I keep looking at the map like it's going to help me. It doesn't. Alright, anyone up here? No. Let's take out some of these torches. <sighs> All right, here's my opportunity. with me. Holy shit. Whatever the statue is, it apparently doesn't weigh very much, and also, that looked painful. I can ring the bell. Uh, no. That does not seem like a good idea. Uh, let's keep going around the perimeter for now, before I go inside. Okay, this is also floating off of the ground. Ooh, donations. To the Garrett Fund, thank you. And so did the son come unto his father, and saith he, Woe unto me, for hath I nothing to eat. Father, give me that which I need. And so didst his father give to him an iron chisel, and saith he, Go into the world, and builder grant thee the fruits of thy labor. The next day did the son come unto his father, and saith he, Woe unto me, for I can do naught with this chisel. Father, give me that which I need. And the father didst give him a hammer of fine wood and metal, and saith he, Go into the world, and builder grant thee the fruits of thy labor. And so did the son return, and saith he. I'm detecting a pattern here. Woe unto me, for I cannot eat these, I cannot use these to catch fish or gather crops. Father, give me that which I need. And the father didst cleave the begging hand from his son, and saith he, The builder hath granted thee the fruits of thy labor, which is not. Father of the year. <laughs> these people are fucking nuts. Ah. Uh. Alright, I think it's time to go deeper into the church. I like how in the movie that played just before this mission, there were like two or four dozen Hamrites all worshipping in this epic kind of scene inside of this place. 
And then in the game, there's three people. <sighs> Wait, what? Apparently I overheard, overheard the conversation even though I actually didn't hear it. Let's see what I learned. If the high priest hears the church bell, he will leave his room and go to the church to bestow a blessing. Bestow a blessing. Okay. So I assume by go to the church, they mean go here, into this main chamber. Alright, well I guess when I find his room, that's something I'll try. I mean, that's assuming I can't knock him out. Why wouldn't I just knock him out? Sounds simpler. Okay, here's someone, but where are they? Ooh, I think... Yeah, I think they're over here. Because I just heard him walking on wood. Did he, like, loop around or something? Yes, he did. Perfect. You know, I think uh, I think a lit candle touching a rug might be a fire hazard, but who cares? Come with thee, thine unconscious body, and occupy this corner. Alright, well, I'm assuming the chalice is in the high priest's room, which is... I have no fucking clue where I am on the map, still. I think I need to go down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I need to go down. Yeah, I think I've taken everyone out up here. Alright, how do I go down without going back out? No, don't jump. Oh, sh yeah. oh, fuck, 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 fuck. <sighs> okay, that works. Actually, I think this will be the first time I use healing potions. Alright, where is it? Oh, wait, no, it's, a, it's an item. How do I switch items? Um... Uh, title menu. God, the menu's horrible. Inputs. What's a use item? Oh, they're... They're not assigned to anything. Um... There we go. Sort of like the zooming in and out. Alright, uh, alt. I think, uh, can I take more? Yes. Uh, how far does it go? No further. Okay, and then F for the flash bomb, there we go. And of course, since it's a newer thief game, the health potion is instant instead of regenerating over time. Where does this go? Mm, 
I think I'm kind of outside. Yeah, let's not do that. Ooh, I think that's the main door. Yeah. Alright, let's tread quietly. Because there should be someone right on the other side of that door. Wait, there is an upstairs. I mean, I know it's up a level, but is there an access to the upper level? From down here? Because I couldn't find a way down. Oh, oh, yeah, this is just the balcony. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, that goes up there. Okay, yeah, that's how I got there. Of course there's an access. Duh. Oh, here they come. And there they go. <laughs> okay, you can put out single candles, but when... But when you come up upon the double candle, it is unputoutable. That totally makes sense. I'm actually not sure about the drop on this. Too far. Bingo. It's not seemly to play such a trick. Hello? But I like games. Especially games that end with you unconscious. Nothing is here. It is unseemly to be so nervous. gone out yet again. It is a poor trick to leave me in the dark. Oh my god. I'm playing this on hard and he didn't see me? Are you kidding me? Right, well, his patrol path seems to be basically random. Twill be f- Alright, go to sleep. Yes, please rest on your candle. Let me just play with your body here. <laughs> Perfect. I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm gonna leave him just like that. Actually, no. I think the high priest is gonna come in here when I ring the ring the bell. So let me let me move him. Yeah, I can't believe how easy they made thief. This is on fucking hard, and he was holding a candle in his hand, and I was like a diagonal, like two feet away from him, in some diagonal direction, while he had light in his hand and he didn't see me. That's ridiculous. I mean, maybe that's how it should be on easy, but not normal and certainly not freaking hard. I would play it on expert if it wasn't for the fact that you need to collect 90% of the loot, and I really don't care to collect that much. Oh. There's someone in there. Alright, let's collect everything in here. I'll take that, and that. Alright, let me speak to my flock. The glory of Saint Edgar. Twas the dawning of the last day of battle, and Saint Edgar didst see that his forces hadst but a few men left, Hail and unwounded. I have no idea what hail means, but continuing on. Then didst he kneel before the chalice and didst give entreaty, entreaty to the builder to gift him with death to his foes or his own death. If it be that thy will that the foe fall grant me thy strength to seek victory for thee. If it be that thy will be thy if it be thy will that the foe overcome Give me death by thy will now, for the foe shall not have it. Then he supped from the chalice, and didst light and glory fill his limbs. And the foe fell as winter before the spring. 
And St. Edgar gave praise to the builder, and didst he walk amongst the wounded and captured enemy, and didst give them... You know, I just realized I don't really care. Shall I pray? Yeah, pray, praise St. Edgar. Hammers and chalices. Yep. I can only take so much of the Hammerite's mutterings before I just don't care. Alright, brothers, High Priest Gradus doth keep the holy symbol now in his chambers. The holy symbol of the Master Forger hath the imprint of the Builder's Grace, direct from Blessed Saint Edgar. Tis the mark of leadership and hath many other uses. Pray for he who shoulders this burden, High Priest Gradus. I think that's pronounced Gradus. He's the greatest there ever was. Ha, ha, that's not funny. Alright, so it's in his chamber. New objective. Steal the high priest's holy symbol from his chamber. Oh wait, so that holy symbol is different from the builder's chalice? Okay. Well, I heard someone behind this door, so maybe this is his chamber. Didst thou see? Inspector Drept was at service earlier. Tis the holy day of St. Edgar. Doth it surprise you? Twould be a greater shame to stand missing. Thou speakest sense, but more and more rare doth he come amongst us. His time is spent out in the city. The inspector seeketh out sinners and criminals. He canst not do that among our brethren. For who such wouldst he find here? Ah, <laughs> tis true. But tis sad that one of our brethren be such a stranger. Wouldst that he pursue his prayers with such fervor as he pursues his investigation. When he doth pursue the wicked, he bringeth the justice of the builder to the city. But I would that he would set aside his obsession. This talk of a hag is but children's rhymes and nonsense. Keep on walking. And please don't turn around. Actually, I'm gonna just stay here for a second. Builder, lead me against the dark yes, towards yes, the pray, light. Fire of pray. the light. Water of the chalice, hammer of the god. <sighs> oh, statue god thing. I give you an offering. An unconscious person. I hope you like this gift. Hmm, it's looking right at me. I mean, right in my direction. I think I might be able to get behind him if I go this way. Let's go very slowly, just in case. Come on. I'll take that. I cannot find. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that would hurt so bad. Oh wow, okay. I feel bad for him. I'm gonna move him. Here. Much more comfortable. Alright, is this his chamber? Oh no, that's the way to the factory. Okay. Okay, there's smoke to the factory, so there is a level transition. Okay, well, um, before I do that, or before I do anything else, I'm actually going to end this episode here. Can't forget to save, because I keep forgetting. Alright, so definitely had some technical issues and frustrations. And so far, I'm, even though I like a lot of what they've done with Thief 3, I could definitely see why it would be controversial. Uh, mainly because of the size of the levels, it's so much smaller, it's sad. And I'm almost certain they had to do it to fit it into the memory of the consoles. Which is... very annoying. I always hate it when the PC version has to get hacked to bits. You know, to fit the whims of the console version, which is inevitably far technically inferior. So, that's sad. And the NPCs are freaking annoying. 
when they talk every two seconds when you're trying to buy stuff from them. And all of the women look like bizarre comical stick figures, which is very stupid. But aside from those things, I'm actually really enjoying it. And in many ways, it's quite a bit better than the first two. So, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.